There's no doubt that criminal history can demonstrate some of the most audacious and daring crimes. Some well thought out schemes have left authorities and police officers around the world shaking their heads. Many criminals have seemed to literally disappear off the face of the earth while sought by law enforcement agencies. Then again, there are some criminals who leave us shaking our heads, but not for the same reason though. I'm Mike with List25, and the following list of the 25 dumbest criminals and how they got caught will give you a taste of these notorious fails. Bonus points if they're just upside down. 25. An armed robber named Andrew Hennels was caught after he boasted on Facebook about his plans to raid a supermarket. In a post, which included a selfie and a picture of a knife, Hennels proudly claimed, doing Tesco, over. Police caught him 15 minutes later with a knife and 410 pounds in cash stolen from a Tesco in Kings Lynn, Norfolk. 24. A burglar from Maine named Christopher Wallace is a big fan of Snapchat. So big that he decided to reveal his hiding spot there. After he stole a propane stove and a cast iron wood stove from a camp in Pierce Pond Township, Wallace posted on Snapchat that he was back in his home in Fairfield. After tipsters relayed the info to police, authorities showed up for the fugitive. 23. A nameless thief in Portland, Oregon executed the perfect robbery in 2013. Or almost perfect. After going through every inch of the house he had broken into, opening all the drawers and stealing everything of value he could find without leaving any fingerprints, he got thirsty. He grabbed a container of orange juice he found in the refrigerator and took a gulp directly from it, leaving it in the sink. The container was sent straight to the DNA testing unit at the Oregon State Crime Lab, where forensic scientists found a match and the thief got caught. 22. A 10-year-old boy was playing with his father's old handcuffs on Father's Day. <laughs> Why? He cuffed himself to his father, William Klein Jr., but the key was lost during the game. Oh. Hmm. William called the local police in Des Moines, Iowa to help him get the cuffs off. As per routine, police ran Klein through their database and found two arrest warrants outstanding. Shortly after, they recuffed Klein, but this time it was for real. 21. Scottish shoplifter Aaron Morrison might be one of the most stupid thieves in history. After stealing a bottle of vodka from a liquor store, he stayed there in order to flirt with the shop clerk. He even gave her his name and number. After that, it wasn't difficult to trace his whereabouts. 20. At a bus station in St. Paul, Minnesota, a hot-tempered man named Justin John Bowden was involved in an argument with a woman who he punched in the face. He also attacked another person who was standing there, which caused him to drop his folder on the ground. He didn't retrieve the folder before he fled. The police officers who arrived at the scene a few minutes later tracked Bowden thanks to what was inside the folder. His anger management homework. 19. A man suspected of arson and vandalism sent a selfie to police in Ohio because he found the photo of his arrest warrant to be unflattering. Donald Chip Poo. Pug? Poo? Pew? Eh, it doesn't matter. He's a criminal. <laughs> Donald Chip Pew texted police a photo of himself and wrote, Here's a better photo. That one is terrible. He also called into a local radio station saying, Man, they just did me wrong. They put a picture out that made me look like I was a Thundercat or James Brown on the run. I can't do that. Why do I feel like you'd do something like this? Me? Yes. I wouldn't do that. I think that you would. Maybe. 18. The idea of robbing a bank without saying a single word is quite unique. A 40-year-old man walked into a bank and handed the cashier a threatening note that read, Be quick. Be quit. That sure he meant quiet. Give your cash or I'll shoot. The bank teller obliged and handed him $400. But the thief had overlooked one simple fact. His message was scribbled on a piece of his payslip. Detectives found the other half of the payslip outside the bank, complete with the bank robber's name and home address. You can probably imagine what happened next. What? Oh, he got off scot-free. Everything's great. Ah, oh, fantastic. I love <laughs> having you in there. 17. One of the most ridiculous robberies ever committed took place in Hickory, North Carolina. 
An unobservant thief invaded Captain's Galley restaurant and picked up the cash register, but didn't notice a little detail. A trail of white cash register tape hanging from the machine. All the police had to do was follow the trail to his apartment, finding him cracking open the register. 16. One thief got more than he could handle when he reached into the window of a parked car and snatched a bag. The bag belonged to a professional snake catcher named Brad McDonald. Can you guess what was inside the bag? Yeah, a highly venomous snake McDonald had just captured from an underground car park in Sydney. Rumors have it that the thief surrendered with his own will to the cops in an attempt to save himself from the snake. 15. Back in 1985, Dennis Newton was on trial for robbing a convenience store. While he was defending himself, claiming to be innocent, he got angry with a store manager who identified him as the robber. Not being able to control his temper, he jumped up and screamed, I should have blown your head off. After that, he tried to correct himself by saying, well, if I had been the one that was there. 14. Two officers in Detroit, Michigan were demonstrating their patrol car's felon locating system to the children of a neighborhood during an educational lesson. A man named R.C. Gatlin walked up to them and asked them about the process. To show him how the process worked, they asked for his ID or driver's license as a part of the demonstration. When they placed his driver's license in the system, they found out that the man was wanted for a robbery committed two years ago and arrested him. 13. Peter Addison from Manchester, UK, and a friend of his smashed crockery and let off fire extinguishers. Apart from writing his own name in black marker everywhere in the building, he also left his gang's name on the wall. The Adlington Massive. Little fella must have wanted to get caught, because no other logical explanation would suffice, other than for him being extremely stupid. 12. Nomi Duchesne attempted a knife point robbery at a jewelry shop while her accomplice, Luis de Castillo, waited outside with a getaway vehicle. A wheelchair. Duchesne, who lived in their shop, was tackled by a customer before she and her friend departed in what might have been the slowest escape in history. They were injured to have a wheelchair. That's true. Forward thinking. Ha! Huh? Like the wheelchair. Yeah. Moving forward. 11. Let's be honest, there's likely been at least once in your life when you had to make a silly excuse to justify something you did, like Pokemon. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't as stupid as the following story. It was. While being handcuffed after leading police on a high-speed chase, Relaford Cooper III, that's a name, claimed that it was his dog driving the car. <laughs> What's even worse than his excuse? There was no dog in the car. <gasps> Pokemon thing is an inside joke, guys. Sorry. What? You don't get to be included in it. <laughs> Just let your mind wander. 10. When you're trying to steal a car, there's one requirement that is needed. The ability to drive. One young thief named Maganga Maganga didn't know about that unwritten rule. So this teenager tried to steal a car from a woman in Omaha, Nebraska. Unfortunately for him, the car was a manual, and the little fella couldn't even start it. He likes saying little fella. A writer likes saying little fella. After trying desperately for seven minutes to start the car, the police showed up and arrested him. I like that name, though. Thank Maganga you. Maganga. Remember, we at List 25 want your carjacking to go properly. <laughs> Nine. In 2015, a thief from New Hampshire got arrested for breaking into a couple's home. The good news is that the police didn't have to try hard, or at all, to arrest him, as the man literally fell asleep during the burglary. The officers found and arrested a sleeping Renaud Jr. Placier the morning after he had slit a screen to break into the home. Robin's tiresome. Yeah, it's true. Exhausting. Maybe that's not the first house. I have to take a nap after I hang out with you. Yeah, that's why. Well, I guess that doesn't really have anything to do with robbing things. <laughs> no. Eight. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, suspected shoplifter Jacob Wise, I bet he wasn't, sneakily removed security tags from clothes he was planning to steal from a store. The alarm went off anyway as Wise strolled through the exit. Why? Apparently Wise wasn't as wise as his name suggests. Told you. He had put the removed tags in his pocket. Okay. 
thank you. Seven. What's worse than making one mistake? Probably making two mistakes, right? This is exactly what a 57-year-old man from Richmond, Virginia did a few years back. Initially, he stole a bike. Then he had the not so bright idea of trying to sell it online through Craigslist to the person he had stolen it from without even knowing it. When the police officers visited his house, they discovered more than 10 bicycles, 57 bicycle tires, 24 bicycle wheels, 26 bicycle wheels with tires, 21 bike seats, four bicycle frames, a gun and ammunition. That escalated towards the end there. Six. Truth is that there are a lot of things a common thief can leave at the scene of a crime. No one's perfect after all. However, leaving a birth certificate behind may be one of the silliest in history. In 2001, a dude from Boston named Zachary Tentoni did just that when he snatched $40 from a woman. In the process of fleeing the scene, he left behind a couple of bags, which contained his birth certificate and a letter from his mother. Aww. Five. One day in 1995, a middle-aged man robbed two Pittsburgh banks in broad daylight. He didn't even wear a mask or any sort of disguise. He also smiled at surveillance cameras before walking out of each bank. Later that night, the cops arrested a shocked MacArthur Wheeler, Pikachu face. When they showed him the surveillance tapes, Wheeler stared in disbelief. But I wore the juice, he mumbled. Apparently, Wheeler truly believed that rubbing lemon juice on his skin would make him invisible to cameras. Four. When Frank E. Blake's second and third wives both showed up to visit him while he was serving time in a Virginia jail, police realized that he hadn't divorced his second wife before marrying his third. After doing some research, they found out that Blake hadn't even divorced his first wife. Frank's polygamy ended up adding some time to his sentence. Three. In 2012, Michael Baker from Jenkins, Kentucky made history in his own mind, but for all the wrong reasons. After he siphoned gas from a local police car, he posed next to it with a big smile on his face, while also proudly giving the finger for the camera. He then posted the photo on Facebook. The photo went viral with thousands of views, but a couple of days later, the police knocked on his door and arrested him. Two. It was too late for John Pierce when he realized that a daylight burglary may require natural athleticism and, more specifically, climbing skills. Pierce found this out the hard way when he tried to break into a house by climbing through the window. His foot got caught, leaving his backside dangling in view of passerbys on the busy sidewalk. Eventually, the police arrived and he was arrested, but not before being ruthlessly humiliated and mocked by pedestrians who couldn't resist laughing at and joking about his situation we probably would have had the same response. One. Albert Jackson Dowdy could have easily been a character from Home Alone. And that's not an overstatement. Dowdy tried to break into a home by smashing a glass door with a paint can. Unfortunately for him, the can bounced off and broke open. Dowdy eventually got inside, but all he collected was a can of tuna fish and a box of oatmeal. On his way out, however, the man stepped in the spilled paint. Officers followed the paint footprints to a nearby motel and arrested him while he was enjoying his lunch. Tuna fish with oatmeal. Okay. <laughs> so, what's the dumbest criminal you've ever heard of? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list25 or to me personally at Michael B. Estrin. And if you like this video, check out the ones in this playlist here. Oh, you have heard of them. Yeah, it's true. So many comments are going to be Trump. Ha 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 political humor. Mm-hmm.